In this particular session, we will continue with our last scenario as input validation issue part 3. Here our main objective was, this is a missile launch app, spread love, not war. Dose the damn thing, your objective here is not find the code and then launch the missile. Rather, it is to crash the application. It means we just have to crash the application. And for that part, we generally follow a technique known as fuzzing in which you simply pass a lengthy or some let's say random alphabetic character or some different languages you can pass here as an input so that you will be able to crash the application application will only crash if there was no exception handling in the background if the application was not able to handle the input properly only then your application will crash so if i simply try here as my like simple input as one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0. I am trying 10 characters here and simply click on push the red button. We got the access denied. Alright, let's increase the input size. Again, I'll go with the same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0. We have 20 characters now. And again, we got the same access denied error. Let's increase the again 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and 0. This time we got 30 characters. And again we got the same app error access denied application is still running if i simply enter one more character it's 31 now we got the same error now if i enter one more character now it's 32 and if i click enter application was crashed because the length for this input is only limited to 31 characters it means the source code can only handle 31 characters out there if your application was not able to handle lengthy input or not able to handle input from different languages or different character sets, then it will be crashing your entire application. Not only this particular activity component will simply crash the entire application. This was your basic input validation issue part 3. Have a good day and stay connected.